Hey y'all, if you're new around here, I'm Sammy and this is Tommy. We've been traveling full time and we are currently in South Africa. If you missed the last few episodes, we have been safariing through Kruger National Park and making some pretty awesome stops along the garden route. We have been shark cage diving, spending some quality time in nature, and drinking our way through wine country. It's the snozberries, tastes like snozberries. Today we're going on a couple of hikes in the Plettenberg area. It's another beautiful day in South Africa. Today we're heading on one of the most scenic hikes in the area. We are doing the Roberg hike. You can get up to 11 kilometers, but I think we're gonna do half of it around five. Plus a hike down to a beach, do some swimming, and it shows you some of the forestry and the cliffs. Hopefully we see some seals and some whales. And there's supposed to be a swimming spot, so we're bringing our suits just in case. Hello. Bye. Thank you. This hike is a little more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. There's a bunch of viewpoints that look out to see the seals down below you. You can definitely smell them, and I love the sounds they make. So we hike to the viewpoint, the entire coastline on this like little peninsula that we're hiking it has thousands of seals and dolphins and they're all fishing and you can see their babies. This hike is so good, the nature here. My plan was to go swimming now, but the wind's just picked up. It's cold. It's pretty cold now. Sammy has her jacket and sweatshirt back on. And I did not bring a swimsuit because there is no way I was getting in the water. She hasn't swum in the ocean yet since we've been here. I don't like being cold. Stopped at the point where the two beaches meet and we're having a little lunch break. We had PB and J's and some chips. So the girls wanted to head back, so me and dad went on this island. There's this little wooden path that takes you up on this view of this island, and the views are amazing. The water's so rough, and there's like tide pools, a bunch of birds. It is so cool. Probably my favorite part of the hike. Started all the way from right there. So we walk on there, walk up on the sun, and back down this path. All right, we caught up with the girls, and we just finished the hike. What'd you think of it, Mom? It was beautiful. The landscape was amazing. Really green on one side coming back. The first part of the hike, you're walking up these rock cliffs, and the second part is near the beach. It's kind of a good combination. And the first part also, you got to see a lot of seals and dolphins. I like the way we did it. We did the full circle, and it wasn't too long or difficult. But yeah, awesome hike. All right, great hike. It's dinner time. We're going to a seafood restaurant. It has really good reviews. Pretty cool, they supply you with your own newspaper and it doubles as your menu. So we got the pear and blue cheese salad to start off with. It was amazing. In our main course, we're gonna split the seafood fettuccine. I think it has huh? prawn, the local fish here, cake, and mussels. When we finished eating the salad, there was a little across our plate. The manager did come over to us and said it was fresh from their garden and back, so just a little caterpillar got through. His two friends were delicious though, extra protein. 
We are off to another national park this morning to do another hike. We're heading to Titsukama. Thank you. Thank you, man. So we just arrived inside the national park at Titsukama and we saw whales for the first time. They are in front of us right now. Oh wow, they're so close. They are right out there. You can't see them because we're doing it from the GoPro. That's the one thing we were waiting to see. Oh, you saw that wave? Throw your drone up in the air. Cool. <laughs> and as you just saw the sign, there's no droning, so that's a bummer. The one spot we see whales, so we can't put a drone up. We're starting our one kilometer hike. It goes over some suspension bridges and has a good viewpoint. It's going to be short and sweet. This place has a lot more people than I expected. Ooh, first monkey of the day. Who spotted him? Sweet spot to learn. Insect dress. Classes in session. Sit down. A plus. Classes dismissed. Woo! My first day ever. Hula. Three little dassies down there on the log. Another guy right over there. Lookout point for sure. The, the lookout he's talking about is up there. So we're gonna go down through here, cross the bridge, and hike it straight up. That looks cool though. Head up to the lookout point. We heard it's about 25 minutes straight up. Time to get some exercise on this hike. And I also like that there's no path anymore. Good job, good job. This bad boy is steep. How you doing? Good, good. Almost to the top. Woo, look at this view. Wow, it's so beautiful though. Crazy, that's where we started. I think I'm almost to the top. Figured I'd go a little bit further just to see if we got a better view. Well, you can hear me because the wind is super strong up here. They have a cool little platform and the view is so awesome. So it's pretty cool on top how everything just flattens out. And the weather turned out pretty nice. Sun's out, feels good. Caught up with dad, he waited for me. The girl's already headed down. Wow, so steep. Doesn't look very steep, but it is super steep. Just got done with the hike. Now we're gonna celebrate with a beer and then some delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, <laughs> like usual. It's getting warm. Driving back from the hike, we had to stop at this spot. It's the highest man-made bungee jump ever. And Sammy thinks she would do it. You really think you'd do it, huh? I think I could. We're gonna replay some clips from before. Sammy's Avengers this last two years of <laughs> her and Heights. How much of a baby she is. Look at her. She's hurting my finger. I'm so scared. Okay, yeah, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Hey, good job, Sammy. So, so Sammy, isn't that something? Yes, it's really something. Chilly, really. Uh, that's just because I can't move because I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to blow away. Okay. That's enough of that. Just because I'm scary. Nice. <laughs> and I'll let you guys decide for yourselves. How are we doing? <laughs> it's so poor. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, Sammy. So after watching them, you still think you could go? No. <laughs> I don't think I could. The truth comes out. <laughs> I got dizzy watching them. Yeah, that's... That's crazy. All right, it's dinner time and we're headed to get some Italian pasta. So we've been craving some Italian food, so we looked up the best reviews in the area, and it was at Casa Angelo. This is an Italian place right behind us. He is the owner, and he makes fresh pasta and pizza every day. We are super psyched. Which one do you recommend? Milky. Cheers to seeing whales today. Ooh, oh, wonderful. Mm, thank you. I ordered pasta arrabbiata, so it's tomato sauce and chili. Yum. Can't go wrong with that. Mmm. I'm telling you, that gnocchi is probably the best I've ever had. That dinner was delicious. That was the best Italian food we had in a long time, and it was so affordable. I love it that the chef, who is actually the owner, really appreciated us loving his food. It was so good. I think it was $17 for the both of us for our pastas and cheesy bread. And wine. That was, I included the wine. We brought it ourselves, but I included it in the price. Mm, so good. I know. <laughs> Wow. It's time Such for war! Such <laughs> 